Hello, my name is Paige Byrne. This presentation, Panels of Perseverance, shares the work of Pasita Abad, a contemporary artist from the Philippines who set protesting aside and discovered the paintbrush as a voice for the people. Painting as we know entails paint and a brush in its simplest form. Artist Basita Abad and her passion for the people, specifically immigrants and artists from the Global South, paints the surface with the colors of the cultures collected from every person she met. This presentation, Panels of Perseverance, will showcase multiple panels by Abad as they tell the people's story from her travels. To understand Abad's intentions, we will focus on three significant works in the timeline of her career that lead to an overarching message, one for all and all for one. The selection of three works showcase the perseverance of Abad, creating art for the immigrant people by showcasing their voice in her work and at the same time discovering her own voice that now protests in paint. Pasita Abad, the daughter of political parents, organized protest under the corrupt leadership in the Philippines over election fraud. Abad's protests brought danger to the family, so to avoid further attack from political unrest, the Abad family urged Pasita to politely leave the Philippines and pursue her graduate studies to become a lawyer. On her journey across the Pacific Ocean, she stopped in San Francisco. There, Abad found her true calling as an artist. Here we have an early work of Abad titled Marcos and His Cronies, created in 1985. You can see the passion of her protest is now channeled into paint with the leader painted in bright red, surrounded by his cronies with sharp teeth. Marcos is standing on a larger figurehead representing the people that have a contrasting expression of happiness. Her acts of protest in the Philippines find a paintbrush in the freedom of America. Abad's work soon illustrates the struggles that immigrants go through. At the same time, Abad's graduate studies bring her to a locana in the education of art and history. The lack of representation of art from the global south, much less the immigrant experience, developed Abad's determination for decades to come in the documentation for the people of the Global South. Abad's determination to visually represent those that are not in the books or galleries starts in America, as we can see in this painted panel titled Hopi Mask. She expanded her travels abroad to include hikes from villages in India to small towns in Afghanistan, where she learned artistic techniques Along the way, Abad collected small notions like beads and buttons and sequins to incorporate the culture she visited into her painted panels. During this time, Abad develops her process technique she calls Trapunto painting. Trapunto is a quilting process in Italy that tucks bits of stuffing into the fabric to slightly raise the surface. We can begin to understand Abad's intentions and feel the pulse of Abad's mission to document the immigrant experience through Terponto painting in her own words as she said, I have always believed that an artist has a special obligation to remind society of its social responsibility. This photo captures the exhibit of Abad's work displayed in the public metro system of Washington, D.C. Let's take a closer look at the panel titled European Mask, created in 1991. Immediately in this panel titled European Mask, inspired by African masks, we can see the symmetry and large scale. There is balance in the use of lines to create sections where a variety of shapes are carefully placed and multiple colors are applied. From left to right, Abad distinguishes each region with a pattern. In the exaggeration of the large-scale European mask, notice there is little room left for the background that is solid green. Abad's intentions become clear in placing the energy in the mask. Abad's intention is first and foremost to represent the indigenous cultures that have been absent from the art world and the history books. Therefore, the scale of the mask takes over the entire composition. 
filled with little shapes as people and sections as regions representing the people from tribes and towns stitch over and over and over, leaving little room but not completely eliminating the one region, the European region, that has driven art history and education and representation in art institutions. On a trip to New York, Abad takes note of the immigrant experience entering America, passing through the Statue of Liberty on Ellis Island. This panel, titled L.A. Liberty, highlights Abad's process of the Trapunto painting technique, which allows us to envision the representation of each individual immigrant. The diagonal sections as tribes, cultures and regions of people beam from the woman of color as our eyes follow along the stitches from section to section upon the painted surface. Notice how Abad crops the flame of the torch, symbolizing the immigrant struggle that still exists today. The overall design of L.A. Liberty is reflective of Abad's belief to recognize each person and population working together as a cohesive planet. As Abad continues her process of Trapunto painting, the designs begin to expand and sections continue to flourish with details, yet the compositions shift from abstract masks and expressive faces. Let's take a look at one of Abad's series of doors as a metaphor of her findings. This panel, titled Door Connects Me to the Greatest Happiness I Have Known, Abad applies the Trapunto technique where the little sections of fabric are stuffed and puffed and made to be three-dimensional. The sections come together to create a door that could be solid, but as we have gathered to learn about Abad, she divides her composition into sections for each one to shimmer in its own glory, so the overall design represents sections where there is equal representation. The sections are filled with paint and stitched with tiny objects such as shells and buttons that she collects from indigenous cultures, yet the background colors begin to repeat and they are slightly similar rather than the bold contrast we have come to learn. Notice how the diamond shapes at the bottom point upwards to the decorative triangular top that's adorned with shiny mirrors she borrowed from the textiles of India. The triangle, being an equilateral triangle, is representative of the equality Abad seeks for immigrants in art, in our history, and the experience of more doors that could be opened for the immigrants in America. No matter who you are in front of this door, you can see yourself in it. Abad's palette continues to be rich with color, movement, and abstraction. She experiences a setback in terms of her health, yet continues to paint and make progress. Listening to blues and jazz brings Abad even closer to her intentions of expressing equality. Abad has hiked through Afghanistan, exchanged ideas with artists of India, always considering herself an ambassador of color and fearless to collect stories from diverse environments. The historical events of September 11, 2001 affected Abad's work into creating a monochromatic panel. Let us take a look at I Have a Million Things to Say. Abad's life work is about being the voice for immigrants and representation for indigenous cultures. The work is played out in a variety of compositions from all of her travels where she collected materials and exchanged materials even if all she had to give was the shirt off her back. Abad's composition titled, I Have a Million Things to Say, is now one monochromatic panel made up of the lightest and brightest colors on the spectrum. Compare this composition to the other works where we have found symmetry in the masks, sections representing regions, to this panel where we have become one united field of color. Millions of little pieces working together equally as one. We see each of these pieces circulating around a light. The farther a piece may go from the light and shift in hue, the color is still part of that central light that reaches every little piece on the picture plane, every person on the planet. Pasita Abad's art is recognized internationally for her extensive and vibrant work as we have seen on multiple canvas panels that is dedicated to issues that impact mass populations. She bridges the gap for the global South. The message of Abad to consider all can also be found on the Al Kef Bridge, a pedestrian bridge in Singapore. 
Abad bridges the Locana for all of the people. Thank you so much for listening.